Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is April and I make sewing and DIY fashion videos. But this week, I'm taking you wedding dress shopping with me. Right now, I am home and social distancing and I hope you guys are doing so as well. So that means all the footage you're about to see was filmed beforehand. I'm not really shopping for a wedding dress. As most of you know, I plan to make my own from scratch, but I thought I would go to a bridal shop and try on a variety of silhouettes and styles to see what suits me the best. I was contemplating whether or not to share this video because I didn't want to spoil it, but mainly spoil the experience for myself. But honestly, I don't think I feel that way because it's not like anyone's going to see my wedding dress or know what design I'm going to be making until my wedding is over. And even in this video, I will not be sharing with you guys my opinions on what I like and don't like or telling you what features I want in my dress just to keep it a little more secretive. As for those concerned about my fiance seeing me in these dresses, I really don't care if he sees me in them or not and he doesn't care either. Do you care if you see my wedding dress? No. Before him? I mean, I feel no. like he's going to be watching me make it, you know, yeah, from course. here until our wedding day. Mm -hmm. He is going to see the process of the process of it yeah. but i might not let him see it on you see it fully finished yeah. if that makes sense all right let's go try on some wedding dresses because i don't want to keep you waiting and along the way i'll just update you guys on our wedding plans if anything is postponed or not because of covid19 and i will also be revealing our save the dates These are just a few of my bridesmaids that are joining me. I have my sisters, Melissa and Lily, and my cousin, Alexis. I was going to hit up multiple bridal shops, but thought, nah, that might be too excessive since I'm not on the hunt to buy one. So I just made sure to pick out a variety of silhouettes and sleeve styles so I can visually see it on. The first dress I'm trying on is a Fit and Flare Mermaid Silhouette. This next dress is a long sleeve A-line silhouette. Is our wedding being postponed or affected by COVID-19? So both of our parents are actually throwing us a Hmong wedding celebration in April. So in just one to two weeks, it was supposed to happen, but that ended up being postponed because of COVID-19. As for me and Eric's American wedding celebration, that won't be happening until later on in the year. So it's not that big of a concern right now. Here are the next couple dresses I tried on. This one is a long sleeve mermaid silhouette. I did want to mention that my top three dresses I liked most cost close to $3,000. So I'm curious to see how much it's going to cost me to purchase all my materials and how much money I will be saving by making it myself. And next, I tried on a strapless ball gown silhouette.
I'm finally going to be revealing our save the dates. Eric and I wanted something that was very us and somehow interactive for our guests to look at at the same time. We were thinking of the craziest ideas, you guys, but those crazy ideas led us to this one. These awesome flip books are from flipclips.com. Once we decided on this idea, we researched companies online and that's when we found Flip Clips. We're so happy that Flip Clips agreed to partner with us and help us bring our vision to life. How we created this flipbook was by first filming a short 10 to 15 second video of us and then flipbooks basically does the rest once you you know edit your clip to your desired length and what you want to be shown and before mass producing the books we requested samples of the different sizes they offer this one is the mini flipbook the size is super cute and small and the pages for this one is a little bit thicker like cardstock this one is the classic flipbook size. As you can see, it flips really smoothly and seems like it includes every frame from the video. The one we decided to go with is the greeting card size. We just felt like it was more ideal for a wedding and it could also fit into an envelope nicely making it easy to send out in the mail if you're thinking of getting some flip books for your event i highly recommend going with flip clips because they were so helpful throughout this whole process the quality is also amazing just make sure you guys are using a good camera and filming in good lighting and all of that tips and information is on their website. You can even customize your front and back cover. This one, but we're so excited. Oh, this is the cutest thing. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's a flip book. I want to flip again. By the way, I asked Flip Clips if they could provide a discount for my viewers and they were so nice to give 10% off your first purchase if you use the code COOLLERPA at checkout. Once again, thank you so much to Flip Clips for sponsoring our amazing Save the Dates. I'll link their website down in my description box for you guys to check out. This next dress I tried on because it had some cool detached sleeves and I wanted to see what it would look like. This is the last dress I tried on. It has a similar silhouette to the others, but she showed me what it would look like with off-shoulder sleeves versus strapless. And I didn't think I would like a veil, but after trying one on, I just might have to create one for myself now. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I went to one bridal shop just to get a feel for the different silhouettes and styles and visually see it on myself. And now I feel like I have a good idea for what I want my wedding dress to look like and can finally begin sketching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!